What's up? And welcome to Threadhead's bitchin' back to school special. Now one of the worst things I can imagine is walking into school and seeing somebody wearing the same thing that I was. Well this week we're taking a look at a few ways you can lively up your hallways by personalizing your school gear. Now we've been getting a ton of questions about book bags, and there's a couple cool things we ran across. Like these awesome duct tape book bags over at ducttapefashion.com that Neff told us about. Then there is this tutorial for backpacks that you can make with old ties and dinner placemats we found on craftygal.com. But if you really want to stand out, we suggest the Mac Pack. We found this bad boy on instructables.com, created by I'm an Anal Chemist using a 1988 Macintosh SE. Or you could murder one of your old stuffed animals and give them a new life. Sorry, that's a little extreme, but don't worry, he'll be okay after surgery. I had to make the first incision in Baby Seal's chest and take out some of his guts. I then took out this extra large pair of pants and cut off one of the pant legs, sewed the bottom closed, and sewed the top to both sides of the incision. Next I sewed on a zipper and I was done with the first pocket. Then I made a slit down the back and repeated the same process to make a back pocket. Lastly I sewed on some straps that I cut off an old backpack and I was done. I also used the leftover pan pieces to make a matching pencil case and awesome book cover with secret note pocket. Go to the Threadbanger blog for the complete details. I only kill fake baby seals for fashion. Another cool idea? Making a messenger bag. Like this one our good friend Bree made over at Make Magazine. I'm Bree Pettis and I need a bag. A messenger bag. So I made up some plans and then did some research on the internet and found Federico's site. He puts together messenger bags out of old vinyl signs. Luckily, I've got my friend Anda here from Etsy, and she's gonna show me how to make this stuff that's like recycled plastic that I can use for this bag. Everybody has a million billion plastic bags in their kitchen shoved under their kitchen sink. But what you can do with them is melt them with your iron to make a fake Tyvex-like material that is free and bountiful and really easy to do. I've ironed up a bunch of trash bags that didn't fit in my trash can, and I'm all ready to sew it all together to make one big sheet. Making a messenger bag out of plastic bags, oh yeah. For more on how to make an upcycle messenger bag, check out Bree's podcast, Weekend Projects, at magazine.com. When we return, more cool back to school stuff, so stick around. This will never get made. Looks like you're making a dress. Yeah, and it's not going very well. All you need is some dragon magic. Dragon magic sounds great! Here we go! My dress! Sorry! Um, you asked about stuff for back to school. My sister's making a quilt that she gave me a whole bunch of scraps left over. And I made this beautiful bag. See? Whenever you're making a bag, the one thing that you want to make sure you do is make sure that two things are durable. You make sure the base is durable and you make sure your strap is durable. I lined my strap with a t-shirt and I put old jeans <laughs> on the bottom. Oh, hang on, I'm using it as a purse so there's no See? The bottom is lined with dough. That was pretty sweet. Remember, if you have any videos of anything you've made, send it on in. We'll put it on the show. This week on the forum, Tab Left made this cool laptop cover out of an old hoodie, complete with pockets. Alta Pop from Finland posted this dress she made out of old ties for a trash and fashion show. We got a quick clip sent in by Angelica of her Threadbanger inspired wardrobe. And then we got Nicole CPM who said she wanted to see anything for your head, even barrettes. So I got these clips from a local craft store and using goo sealant in a well ventilated area, I applied these old dice we had. Then some cute little bears, and I even made bows that match my new school gear. Yes, a plethora of sweet new barrettes. And this is just classic. Coffee in his handmade wrestling mask taken down a sewing machine. Got pictures of you with your DIY fashion making machines? Well, we want to see them. Check out the thread to show off your baby created by Pinoy Blaze in the Threadbanger forums and get to post it. So good luck with that whole back to school thing. Let us know how it goes. We now leave you with a music video by the Fliprons. Till next week.
It's a foolish enterprise to tell a man when and where his death lies. So if you find out on your Ouija board, don't spoil the surprise. Just tell me fibs, tell me porkies, tell me lies.